Hey what's up guys, Chronostack here. OnePlus has added a new element in their OS collection and this time it's Hydrogen. And this video will guide you through the installation process. You can get all your files and detailed information here at the OnePlus forums. As you can see there are a couple of links that you can download all the stuff from. I'll be leaving the thread link as well as the OS download link in the description below. I personally prefer the mega link. It's faster than the rest. And yeah, one more important thing. You need an unlocked bootloader as well as a custom recovery installed, preferably TWRP. And once you have all that, you're good to go. Now moving on, once you have downloaded the file, just copy it onto the phone's internal storage. Now I'm just going to show you that my device is running the CM12S and I'm going to install Hydrogen OS on top of it. You can see the model number, the Cyanogen OS version, this is the latest one, and the build number LRX22G. Hmm, so what next? Let's turn off the phone. Now you have to enter the recovery mode from here and to do that press the volume up, volume down and power key together and hold them together for a few seconds. Once that is done you should see the screen or maybe a little different from what I have because I have a themed version of TWRP. You might just have the basic version. Now the first thing you need to do here is wipe the data. Just go to the wipe menu, check the boxes that say data, cache and alloy cache. Make sure you only check these three boxes and nothing else. Data, cache and alloy cache. That's the three things that you want to check. And after that swipe to wipe. Now go back. And next is the install menu. Tap on install and you need to find where you copied the hydrogen ROM or OS if you may. Once you find it, just tap on it and swipe to install it. After that, wipe caches and swipe again and reboot. And click on do not install in the screen, do not swipe unless you want to root your phone, which you can also do afterwards because this root method probably won't work as it would have the older binaries. The first time will generally take like a couple of minutes, probably somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes in the booting as well as the apps upgrading part. So you can just leave your device for some time and come back later on and see that everything is done. Now the boot is almost finished. This is the language selection screens. There are only three languages right now. Let's select English. And this is the Wi-Fi selection screen. You can, I'm just gonna skip this part. It's actually cool, it looks really great. They have tried to implement material design almost everywhere and you can see it's been integrated quite deeply in the system as well. Now that is a beauty. Now you can see the system version is H2OS, that's the newest successor of I guess the Oxygen OS. I don't know if the Oxygen OS will be replaced by the Hydrogen or if it's just for the Chinese consumers. But yeah, that's something we'll see over the time. That's all guys, thanks for watching. If there's any problem that you end up with, then you can leave it in the comment section below. And you can follow me on Twitter and this is Chronostech signing off.